Are you bored with mac and cheese? If so, you're in the right place because today we're making it truly epic with king crab and rock shrimp. So follow me and let's turn up the tasty. It's a rare thing you see here on this channel. Yes, we're cooking with carbs. We went up to Steak 48 in Chicago and we met with Chef Brian Key who showed us how to make a really insanely good ribeye. His side dish when he made that steak was king crab and rock shrimp mac and cheese. And so we've been really inspired. I don't have a recipe for it. He didn't give that to me. I'm gonna try to recreate it because it was really so good. I know I cannot make it as good as Brian did, but what he started with is cavatappi noodles. Cavatappi, cavatappi, who knows? And while that's cooking, the first thing I need to do is make an Alfredo sauce. Yeah, that's right. It's exactly what Brian said they used as their base. Start with three tablespoons of butter. So I have one cup of heavy cream, one cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. And that's what we're gonna use to build the base for this. This freshly cut parsley, I'll give it some nice color. Let that cook for oh, about a minute, maybe two. Maybe two minutes and 15 seconds. Next, we're gonna go ahead and pour in that heavy cream real slow. We're just gonna let this simmer here for about the next uh, five minutes. That's really starting to thicken up now. While that's cooking, I'm gonna go check on the pasta. It's hot. Look what you did, you little jerk. Sorry, I'm talking to myself. What the hell am I doing? There's not even a recipe for this. Stop beeping at me. Next up, we got some Gouda cheese. Chef Brian uses a mix of cheddar cheese and a favorite cheese from my hometown called Provel. You've probably never heard of it. It's used on pizzas here in St. Louis, but one thing that we can all find in our stores is this smoky Gouda, three ounces of it. Some of you at home may disagree with this, that's fine. You wanna leave that starchy water on there. I like to use just a little bit, a light rinse on that. It's just not quite as thick. What happens is it all begins to absorb into the pasta otherwise. With the king crab, you don't actually have to cook this. It's already cooked when you buy it. You just have to reheat it. So when it comes to adding shrimp, he used rock shrimp. And when I asked him why, he said it's because you can get a nice little bite with those rock shrimp. Now, I think that's a great idea. After removing the shell, I just split them right down the middle, just like this. You can still get a nice little bite just with those little pieces and they will cook up and fit right on a fork. Hit them with some salt and pepper. While that shrimp is cooking, go ahead and get your sauce right here into a big mixing bowl. And I like to do it separate from the pasta because I really don't know how much pasta this sauce covers. Now we're just gonna go ahead and add this king crab just to warm it up. That's all we're doing right here. Now, one thing that they use at Steak 48 that I'm not even gonna try to recreate here is like a really rich shrimp butter. We're not gonna do that. They actually pour it on the top of this dish and I don't know how to make it. I, I could probably figure it out, but I think this is gonna be plenty good just the way it is. All right, now that we have everything put together, let's go ahead and build it. We're gonna get some of that pasta on there. Looks absolutely incredible. And those cavatappi noodles, they look like little pig's tails and they're awesome. They provide all these nooks and crannies for the sauce to kind of hide in. So this looks like it will feed about four people. We used about a half a box of the cooked pasta, about half the cooked pasta. And Jimmy Two Times, who got that nickname because he said everything twice, like. Half the cooked pasta, about half the cooked pasta. We're gonna go ahead and finish it off with just a little parsley right here. I mean, this looks. Check it out. If that's not next level mac and cheese, I don't know what is. It doesn't really get much better than that now. Let's dig in and see how it tastes. Eating like a king. Mmm, that's so good. The richness of that Alfredo sauce. I never would have thought to use Alfredo sauce as a base for mac and cheese. A lot of times people will use a roux and other things. But guys, look, I'm not gonna close out this video because I'm gonna be too busy eating this. Outside of the richness of the pasta and that smoky gouda that's in there, you're getting the richness of that king crab along with the texture of that shrimp. And it really is truly just next 
level. How do you guys make epic mac and cheese at home? Let us know in the comments below and while you're there, well, you guys know the drill. Go ahead and smash that thumbs up like button and even better, subscribe to our channel. Your subscription really does go a long way to supporting our efforts of cooking meat made easy. And remember, we release a new video every single week. I'll see you guys then.